All right, installation video for the no mod error system. So first things first, we want our laser to be off. Um, it should be unplugged if at all possible. Hey Google, switch off laser. All right, so next step is we have to remove the laser module from the X gantry and the little carriage it's on. So if you have a stock one, uh, you know, you have your little screw that sits here that allows you loosened up to move it up and down. Go ahead and loosen it up. Once it's loose enough to move up and down, you can just go ahead and remove it. Just like that. All right, so here on the back, we have two little itty bitty holes here and here. Inside there are little set screws. So the 1.5 metric Allen wrench, you just go ahead and you loosen those up. You don't need to take them all the way out. Just give them a little bit of loosening and your laser shield pops right out. All that happens is this goes inside a little channel right in here and the little set screws hold it against. Note, it's not square. It's actually a rectangle. So the longer side goes front and back. There is no proper top and net, top and bottom. It is what it is and it is kind of wonky. It's not exactly square. So anyway, so now we need our air assist. So here we go. Um, so while you're doing this, you know, that's going to be a tight fit getting it over on our collar here. Um, so what we want to do is make sure we'll grasp it firmly um, around the body uh, rather than grabbing on the this piece and kind of yanking and pulling. Um, whether you install your air hose first or last is really up to you. Um, whatever floats your goat. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and we want to put it on. So we'll go ahead. Our hose pieces here are going to go right down inside this cavity. It is a tight fit, so make sure you're getting it in there just the way you need to. Feel free to rock it back and forth a little bit and weasel it on. And there we go. That one's a little crooked. So let's twist him. See how he's going parallel with the line here? And we have no gap between the collar and the base. Right? So now we just put our little shield back on. So the edge of the shield is going to go right down in that gap. All right, we got them nicely seated there. And then we go ahead and oops, I actually can get them all the way in. I've got it in crooked. There we go. Now it's nice and firm. So we tighten up our little shield again. All right, he's on. All right, so now for the air hose, um, I'm using 6OD uh, flexible tubing. Same thing you use for drip irrigation. Um, if yours is a little bit smaller, you can go ahead and sand this part. Just don't go breathing in dust or getting it down inside and you should be okay. Um, what I do is I grab onto it and then just kind of weasel it on and make sure I'm using counter force there. All right, so look at that. He's all nice and set. So all we have to do now is put it back on the carriage. Okay, loosen and ta-da, all done. I hope that was helpful. If not, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to, to, to ask. Um, take care.